Hello, royal folks. It's good to see you all here again. This is your regular dose of royal news and analysis. But before we start, please subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon. Thanks. So now, today, we dive into the controversial decision to change their children's surname to Sussex, a move that has drawn criticism from top American psychiatrist Dr. Carol Lieberman, who goes as far as to claim that Meghan's ultimate goal is to destroy the royals. Is this a desperate bid for relevance, or is there a calculated strategy at play? Let's dissect the evidence. The recent revelation that Meghan and Harry changed their children's surname to Sussex has left many questioning the motives behind such a move. The couple, known for their spotlight-hungry nature, claims that the change is aimed at unifying the family with their brand and website, Sussex.com. However, critics argue that this is nothing more than an attempt to cling on to the royal family and maintain a connection they willingly distance themselves from. Dr. Carol Lieberman, a respected psychiatrist, has labeled this move as desperate. In a candid interview with GB in America, she expresses her belief that Meghan and Harry are finding themselves increasingly desperate as their popularity wanes. According to Dr. Lieberman, Meghan's initial assumption that they would be embraced in the United States with open arms after leaving the UK has proven to be a miscalculation. Now, Meghan is allegedly clinging to anything royal to salvage their diminishing popularity. One cannot ignore the irony in Meghan and Harry's use of royal titles and a royal crest on their new website, Sussex.com. This decision has triggered widespread backlash and calls for their titles to be stripped completely. Royal commentator Petronella Wyatt argues that revoking their titles would, in fact, elevate their brand, turning them into the Prince and Princess of Sussex. The move is seen by many as a glaring example of double standards, considering Meghan and Harry spent years attacking the royal family before attempting to leverage their titles for personal gain. Dr. Lieberman, when asked about the apparent hypocrisy, wholeheartedly agrees. She describes Meghan's daily goal as wanting to be the face of everything, every day, with Harry seemingly reduced to an appendage. The psychiatrist also highlights the symbolic nature of Meghan's constant physical connection with Harry, suggesting that she needs him as a representation of her desire for royalty. As the controversy deepens, biographer Angela Levin sheds light on the couple's purported plans to visit London with their children, Archie and Lilibet, as part of the anniversary celebrations for Prince Harry's Invictus Games. Levin deems this move astonishing, given Meghan's previous vow never to set foot in London again. It raises questions about the authenticity of Meghan and Harry's intentions, and whether their actions are driven by a desire for a united front or a calculated PR stunt. In conclusion, the changing of the children's surname to Sussex and the use of royal titles on their website paint a picture of Meghan and Harry desperately trying to hold on to the royal connection they voluntarily left behind. Dr. Carol Lieberman's insights into Meghan's alleged desperation and the contradictory nature of their actions bring to light a deeper, more complex plot against the royal family. As the controversy unfolds, the world watches with skepticism and curiosity questioning Meghan and Harry's true motives and whether their bid for relevance will ultimately succeed or backfire. So what do you think about this news, guys? Thank you for tuning in to today's discussion. As always, I encourage you to share your thoughts in the comments section below. Stay tuned for more updates on the intriguing world of royalty. Until then, thanks for watching. We'll see you again with some more fascinating news about the royal family. Thank you.